to the auto car show from China. Now we're not here to drive something cheap, something nasty, something basic. We're here to drive something really special. Now this is Bentley's new flying spur. Earlier known as the Continental Flying Spur, Bentley has chopped the first part of the name off because they want this car to be more comfortable and more rounded. It's what customers wanted and that's exactly what they've done. There really is no car maker quite like Bentley. Examine a Bentley up close or get behind the wheel and you soon discover it's pretty unique. Both very sporty and very luxurious at the same time, this car is uniquely positioned. And though many car makers aspire to similar ideals, almost no one mixes old world big bruiser charm and Victorian levels of opulence quite like Bentley does. The new flying spur carries on that tradition. There's that big bold chrome mesh grille up front and large headlamps too. But the flying spur this time around is more svelte looking, especially around the haunches. And the rear is now more blocky too, so it's easier to identify this new car. The insides also reek of old world charm. They seem to have been put together by a set of expert furniture craftsmen. For a start, almost everything you see is either double stitch waxy leather, perfectly polished wood paneling or shiny chrome. Every single bit tastefully executed. Bentley say they are on 600 new bits in this cabin and it certainly looks like that. The flying spur in the meantime is doing a stellar job of handling lower downtown Beijing traffic. Now most Bentley customers have a really delicate backside and that's why they got back to Bentley and said look we want the car a bit softer and that's exactly what Bentley's done they've softened the ride of the car the air springs are softer the dampers are softer and on comfort mode it really feels like a limo it's really wafting through the bumps and it's really really comfortable on the flip side they've done something for the handling as well now most Bentley customers aren't going to be sliding this car around, at least I don't think so. But they've still gone and changed the torque split for the four-wheel drive system to 40 in the front and 60 at the back from an even one. And they say that makes the car a little bit more pointy to drive and a little bit more smoother. So is it, is it really more pointy? Is it better to drive? Well, for the most part it is. You do get into a rhythm with the car and it does flow nicely and feel nice and quick and you know even chuckable at times but if you have the really tight stuff then I don't know I'd like a bit more turn in the front and I'd like it to point a bit more but that's just in the really tight stuff once you get more flowing roads and longer corners it's really really nice and you can really make use of that momentous power and engine what's really quite spectacular of course is the engine this W engine uses turbochargers and feels like it's got unlimited amounts of torque. It feels like a direct injection engine. There's so much torque from 2000 RPM. It's just put your foot down, spool the turbos up and wham! Gives you a nice shot in the back. That's exactly what you want from your Bentley. That's the tradition. That's the big engine sort of torquey tradition of Bentley. And it's fantastic. The great thing about Bentleys is they're fantastic to drive and they're great to sit in the back. There's acres of room beautiful finish everywhere it's just the best finish you can find in the cabin and lots of electronic goodies you can adjust your seat you can adjust all the controls in the front from a remote here and although the support isn't fantastic on this car you can option a car where there's even greater swap support or thigh support as they call it and that's the one you should go for I think Bentley's new flying spur takes things to the next level it's just as much fun from behind the wheel but it's also more comfortable and better built and better equipped on the inside and that's just what customers want. <laughs>